Hi friends, today I will do some gold plating on my silver jewelry pieces using this digital pen plating station from Pepe Tools. And I will be plating pieces that I finished recently and also the ones that I finished a while back. I just want to check if maybe they would look nicer with gold on them. So yeah, let's get started. I am very curious how this is going to look like. This is what's inside this box. If you want to see a video of me using and showing you exactly how to use it step by step from start to finish, more of a technical aspect of this tool, it will be linked in the description box or here in the eye. So you can check that one out if you're interested. Today I want to show you how I transform these jewelry pieces, which are silver right now and they are obviously very nice, but I want to see how they would look like with some gold on them and I want to try this plating using plating pen there are other ways to gold plate your jewelry but yeah today I will be using gold plating station it's very easy to use honestly it's super easy and I'm very excited to see how these pieces will be transformed with a dash of gold on them I've carefully cleaned all of the pieces so from this point on I will make sure to be using gloves so no grease or dirt is getting onto the metal. We want it to be perfectly perfectly clean so the plating goes well. One more thing, some of the pieces have a little bit of patina on them like this butterfly for example and to be honest I haven't used gold plating on patinated jewelry before so I'm very curious how this is going to work. Obviously the patina is left only in these tiny little narrow spots and areas. It's not on the surface of the silver, but still I'm curious if this is going to work. Same with this butterfly. There's a tiny little bit on the manta. I'm very curious how it's going to look like. This is a cyanide-free gold plating solution and I've already transferred the amount that I will be using into this separate sterilized container. You don't want to contaminate your solution, that's why it's good to use it in a separate container. Container. And I'm going to put it over here. There's the system, the plug, the bit you attach onto the metal and the pen for plating. I'm gonna need a fresh tip for this one. Make sure to keep it very clean and not contaminate it with anything, any grease, any dirt, nothing. It should be perfectly, perfectly clean. There we go. This knob over here is for you to adjust the voltage. It's best to stick to the voltage that's recommended by the solution manufacturer. And in this case, I'm going to go for seven. Yeah, you can play around with it too and see what works best. But in this case, I'm going to go for seven. Okay, I think now I have everything ready. And because this is a new tip, I'm going to have to soak it in there for about two to three minutes to make sure that it's completely soaked in the solution. Okay, I've put some paper towel over here and I think everything is ready to start working. I will need to attach this little tip onto um, the jewelry that I will work on first and then we'll see what's gonna happen.
Okay, so this is the effect straight up after plating. I think I'm going to have to play a bit more of this. Uh, I think the plating might not be completely even in all of the places, but to be honest, I'm actually quite happy with it. And it's not very bright. So I would say the color is quite dark, honestly, which I personally really like because it gives this vintage vibe to, to it. I would say it comes out a little matte, even on highly polished surfaces. So this ring, this ring was definitely polished. It had mirror finish, but I don't know if the camera picks it up, but it actually is a little bit matte right now. So I will see if I can, you know, just gently wipe it with polishing cloth just to bring that shine out a little bit without removing gold layer. And on here, so what I've noticed with these two pieces, I think that that because I had patina in some of the, you know, narrow spots, I would say that patina, in, in simple words, contaminated <laughs> the plating. But I don't regret it. Oh, actually, you probably can tell the difference between the butterfly that didn't have any patina on it and this tag over here, which obviously had a lot of patina. So what I think is that, yeah, the patina contaminated <laughs> the solution. And that's why the butterflies on two sides are brighter. But I'm still very happy with the effect. With the butterfly, I'm not sure yet. I don't know how I feel about it yet. On one hand, I really like it, but I think for it to have the best effect, um, the plating really needs to be even. And right now, I just feel like there's a little bit more on here. I don't know if you can see it. I see it. I see the difference between these two wings. So probably if I added a little bit more on here, if I can, because there's only so much you can put on when it comes to plating. Like you can't do it forever. At one point that there's enough, like it won't plate anymore. I'll try it, I'll try it and see. And with this little alpaca, I don't know what these lines are. I don't know if this is from the pen, if I maybe pushed a little too much and I actually produced these scratches or if it's an even solution, I would have to check but other than that, I'm very happy with how the plating turned out. This is exactly what I wanted. I wanted alpaca to be gold. 